Hi guys, Jamie here to share a slow flow deep stretch with you. Uh, the theme for the, for the day is Brahmacharya, non-excess. Uh, Brahmacharya is the, fir the fourth yama. Yamas are the, the first limb of yoga, the, that limb that deals with our ethical framework, how we treat each other, how we treat ourselves. And Brahmacharya is non-excess or simplicity. Brahmacharya invites us into an awareness of the sacredness of life. This guideline is a call to leave greed and excess behind and walk in this world with wonder and awe, practicing non-excess and attending to each moment as holy. A lot of us have a lot more time on our hands than we may usually have, so it can be uh, helpful to have some kind of a focus to take us um, to, to keep returning us back to this idea of each moment being beautiful, being perfect in and of itself. So I offer that, and then I'd like to start with just a couple moments of quiet breath. So if you can close your eyes and find a comfortable seat, start to notice the in and out breath, and the qualities of that breath right now. Is your breath shallow or deep, short or long, ragged or smooth? Are you finding the breath to be complicated or simple? And then over these next few breaths, I want you to try to bring the breath deeper all the way down to the bottom of the lungs, feeling the inflation of the belly. And then the widening of the rib cage and the inflation of the chest and upper back with each breath in. And the emptying of those spaces with each breath out. In each breath, there's depth to the inhale. And a complete purging on each breath out. And with this depth of the breath comes a lengthiness to the breath as well. A drawing out, but not necessarily purposeful. It's just a, uh, a lengthening, right? That lengthening of the breath, that deepening of the breath takes more time. Noticing if there's any place along the way, along the path of the breath, that the breath catches. Try to smooth out any rough edges. And noticing when you smooth the edges of the breath, there can be a smooth quality that enters into your whole being. Your thoughts, your body. And then bring your palms to touch. Rest your thumbs right in the center of your chest. Anjali Mudra. A mudra of compassion, of kindness, attention. Just as simple as placing the palms of your hands together and feeling that change. I'd like to open our practice sharing the vibration of one bumblebee breath together. So that beautiful hum that we create. I will hum for you and if you join along, awesome. If you don't, also awesome. Let's take a cleansing breath in and out. started. So I have a couple of blocks and a strap, a couple of blankets and a couple of bolsters just nearby just in case and for you to have the same thing. So let's start in that comfortable seat. 
I'm gonna sit cross-legged. If you have been sitting cross-legged, it might be helpful to change the cross of your legs. And then go ahead and just let your hands rest on your thighs. Take your hands, palms facing out, and then on an inhale, sweep the arms up, look up to your hands, palms press overhead, and then your hands travel through your heart center and open again outside of your hips. Let's do that again, inhaling the arms up, look up, exhale, hands through your heart center and open outside of your hips. Two more like that, inhaling to sweep up, Exhaling the arms back outside your hips. Last time. Now let your hands rest on your thighs. Drop your right ear over towards your right shoulder. And then stretch your left fingers down to the ground. And you start to open up some space in that left side of your neck. center, switch sides, left ear drops over, right fingers reach for the earth. And bring your head back to neutral, both hands rest on your thighs. Now drop your chin down towards your chest, chest lifts up towards your chin. And then on the inhale, lift the chin all the way up towards the sky. Exhale the chin back through neutral down towards your chest. Again, lift the chin, look up. One more time, drop the chin down. Lift the chin up. And exhale back to neutral. Let's come on forward now into our hands and onto our hands and knees. Tabletop. And just take whatever movements feel good in your body right now, just to start to awaken it and start to notice what you feel and where you feel it. You know, I always like to you know, do these half circles that really emphasize a, a reaching to the side of my hips. And go ahead and let's make circles with the shoulders and the hips. Taking everything to the right and around. And then switch direction. Everything to the left. Take your time. That's the, the beauty of a slow flow, deep stretch. And we have the time to really feel what it is that we feel, not running away from our sensations. So take the right leg, stretch it back behind you, curl your toes under, and then a nice stretch on the calf. I feel also maybe a little rocking backward and forth, so you can feel a stretching in the toes and the sole of your foot. Really articulate those movements of the foot and the ankle. Shoulders back over wrists, take your right leg back behind you, lift it high. Now start to turn your toes out to the right, bring your foot out to the right. You're trying to press your, the sole of your foot against the, a wall. Keep that leg lifted up nice and high, draw the belly in towards your spine. Take a breath in here. And then exhale that leg back around, ground the sole of your, the ball of your foot out to the left. Look over your left shoulder, breathe into your right rib cage. Come back to center with your leg, reach the left arm forward, spinal balance, big breath in. Exhale, elbow to knee. Reach out. Two more times like that. Exhale to your crunch. Inhale, stretch. The last one. Back to tabletop. Take a breath in. Cow pose. Exhale, cat. 
continua. Neutral spine, neutral chin. We'll take this whole bit to the other side. So left leg stretches back, starting first with that stretch in your calf, the movement for the toes and the bones of the left foot. And again, shoulders stack over wrists. The left leg lifts straight back and start to spin so your left toes point left. Take that left leg out. Try to keep it hip height here as you press out with the, with the sole of your left foot and you lift that leg up nice and high. Big breath in. Exhale the leg back. Ground the ball of your left foot out or over to the right and look over your right shoulder. Deep breaths. Back to center, lift the left leg, lift the right arm. Inhale into length. Exhale, crunch under, empty all the breath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Last time. One more stretch out to tabletop cat cow. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Back to your neutral spine. Take your knees as wide as your mat. Big toes touch. And sink back into child's pose. Again, slow flow, deep stretch. So we're taking our time, maybe adding a little bit of swaying from side to side with the hips. So you can feel something in the inner thighs and groins as well. Once you're once you land back on your heels and drop your forehead to the ground, arms can continue to reach forward, but you can always bend your elbows and find a, a, a little less shoulder involvement. And just a reminder, child's pose is always a, a great place to come uh, to rest. Uh, and that can be done like this with the knees wide, or you can have the inner thighs together in child's pose that way. So three breaths here, child's pose of your choice, wide knees or together. And we'll start to come back forward to your hands and your knees. All ten of your toes curl under here and we'll lift to downward facing dog. First one here, it might be helpful to keep the knees soft, maybe even deeply bent, depending on how your hamstrings feel. I know I've been walking a lot, probably just like you. We've had beautiful weather, and there's not a whole heck of a lot to do in a lot of the hours of the day, so lots of walking. So my hamstrings are tighter, my hip flexors are tighter. So just Feel what you feel without any judgment. Moving in such a way that you start to settle into your downward facing dog. And notice if your movement is, is more of a fidgeting or if it's more of an exploration. And make it more interesting to yourself. So rather than having it just these movements just be something to do, let these movements be something to feel. And now come to stillness in your downward facing dog, just you and your breath.
And look forward between your hands and start to tiptoe your feet forward. So again, slow, no hurry, no rush, drawing the belly back towards the spine. And coming into a halfway lift and fold back forward. Again, halfway lift and fold. Halfway lift and fold and find ragdoll. So bring your feet about hip width apart, soften your knees, grab opposite elbows and a little swaying from side to side. And again, trying to make this movement be uh, purposeful, right? Noticing what you feel rather than it just having it be activity with no purpose. Feeling is a purpose. And the next time you rock over to the right here, take your left elbow, reach it towards that right upper corner of your mat, swing back through center. And the right elbow reaches to the left corner. So he's swaying with a little more lengthening out of the side body. Keep moving, elbow towards those upper corners of the mat, left elbow right corner, right elbow left corner. Release your elbows, heel toe your feet back together, deep bend in your knees, hands to your thighs, round your way up to stand, arms reach out and up, palms press overhead, hands come through your heart center, and then open outside of your hips, mountain pose. Make any adjustments you need to make. And then let's flow. Again, that emphasis on slow, right? We want to feel our sun salutations. Uh, we don't want to do them to get them done. We want to feel our way through. Let it just be that simple. Feeling our movements without any worry, without any hurry. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Step back, plank pose. Take a nice big breath in here. To your bellies, lower all the way down. Flatten out the tops of your feet, lift to low cobra. Forehead drops down. Inhale, press up, table. Exhale, back, downward facing dog. Five breaths here, feeling. Now look forward here again, those tiny little steps, drawing belly back and in. Come to a halfway lift once your feet reach the top, fold back forward. Soften your knees, hands to your thighs, round your way up, sweep your arms, and back into mountain pose, hands outside of your hips. Let's do that again. Inhale, and exhale. Way. High plank. Breathe in to your bellies. A little cobra. Release. Table. Down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fill up, empty, one more time, big breath in, look forward, exhale, right foot steps and then your left, halfway lift, 
you fold. This time, reverse swan dive your way up to stand. Hands in front of your heart, outside of your hips. Again, reach up and fold. Halfway. High plank. Pause here. We have choices. We'll take a breath in. Lower again to your bellies or halfway down, chaturanga. Lifting to that cobra or up dog. Make your way back, downward facing dog. forward. Left foot steps and then your right halfway lift and fold. Rise up tall. Hands through your chest open outside of your hips. Let's do that one more time. Inhale and fold. Halfway lift. High to low push up your way to two your bellies or chaturanga, up dog or cobra. We all land in downward facing dog. Three breaths. Look forward to the top. Halfway lift and fold. Arms sweep out wide, lift to stand. And let's land here in mountain with Anjali Mudra. Hands pressing together, thumbs grounding right in the center of your chest. Pause here. Maybe you close your eyes, maybe you don't. You have a moment to feel what you feel. Compress the palms, reach up. Sink into chair pose here. Take a breath in and a breath out. On your next inhale, stork pose, lifting the left leg. Pause. Breathe in. Exhale to chair. Stay here. Inhale. And exhale. Next inhale. Stork lifting the right leg. Stay. Inhale. Chair. Breathe in. And out. Door pose, lift the left knee and pause. Breathe in. Chair, hands in front of your heart center. Take a big breath in. And revolve chair, left elbow comes across to the right thigh. Breathe here, feel the belly drawing back to the spine on your exhales. Look down and start to lift the, the left foot here, drawing that left heel up towards your glute. Reach the left leg back. So pause, balancing on the right leg. And then step back here, revolved crescent. Gaze spins down. Now step right back where we came, coming into revolved chair. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. And fold. Rise up tall. 
chair pose. Inhale, stork, lift the right knee, pause. Chair. Back up to stork, lift the left knee. Chair. Lift the right knee, stork pose, pause. One more lengthening breath in. Chair pose, hands in front of your heart. Big breath in. Revolved chair, opposite side. So that right elbow, that right upper arm, or the right lower arm hooks across on the left thigh. You're squeezing your, your inner thighs towards one another. Keep that action as you spin your gaze down and start to lift your right heel towards your glute. Pausing here, feeling that firmness between the thighs. Now start to reach that right leg, stretch it back, and land in your revolved crescent. Start to shift weight back into the left foot. Step back, revolved chair. Chair pose. And fold. Halfway lift. And flow. Step back to your plank. Chaturanga or to your bellies. Low cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Lift your right leg back behind you. Start to come into this three-leg dog where you open up your hip, bend your right knee, and squeeze your right heel towards your glute. Look under your right shoulder. And come back to level with your pelvis. Feel length here from the palms of your hands to that right lifted heel. Step your right foot between your hands and rise up, crescent lunge. Big breath in. Right hand rests on your right hip. Start to reach up and over. And find some space in the left rib cage, the left waist. Come back up to center. Big twist here. Right fingers reach back, left fingers forward. Look back to your right hand. Really fire on that left thigh. Lift back to crescent lunge. Open up warrior two. Sink nice and low into that front thigh. A little sparkle with the fingers here. Draw the shoulder blades a little closer together. Flip your palm, reverse your warrior, stay here, breathe out, breathe in again, and out, biggest breath in, hands come down to frame your foot, step back, plank pose, breath in here, and flow. Same leg, right leg, reach it up, come into your three-leg dog. This time around, opportunity to flip your dog. Press into the feet, evenly lift both hip points here. Come back over, downward facing dog. And we'll come into side plank on the right side. So lots of options here with side plank, right? You can 
keep the um, legs, both of them long. You can drop that bottom knee and even then lift the top leg. So a modification here of your plank, of your side plank. Come back, downward facing dog. Notice the qualities of your breath, if it's become ragged. Try to smooth it. If it's become really shortened or gasping, try to lengthen. And if you're breathing just into the chest, try to deepen. Left leg now, we'll reach it back and come into that three leg dog where we stay, really actively lifting the left knee and squeezing the left heel in. And stretch the leg straight back, big breath. Step forward. Crescent lunge, second side, sweep the arms up. Left hand rests on your hip, reach up the right fingers and then stretch over. So really peeling open some space between the right rib cage. Uh, between the right rib cage and the right hip point, I should say. And the inhale brings you back to center. Exhale to your twist, high crescent twist. Breathe. Look back towards that left hand. On an inhale, back to crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Sparkle the fingers. Shoulders drop away from your ears. Flip your palm, reverse and stay here. Breathe out. In. Out. One more big breath in. Exhale your hands down to frame your foot. Flow through. Left leg, reach it up, come back to your three leg dog. Opportunity here, if you'd like to flip over, right? We're doing things with a, with a smoothness, a slowness. It's like we're moving through water. Come back down, we're facing dog. Side plank. Remember, there's that option to modify, dropping that bottom knee down and lifting up. Downward facing dog. And child pose. Rest here, about five breaths. Again, an opportunity to simply observe. And making your way back forward, downward facing dog. Right foot will step between your hands and then drop your left knee down. Come and spend some time in lizard pose. Uh, I always like uh, blocks in lizard, so it can be a moment where you find those so that you can find a little more space in this posture. You don't feel quite so um, squinched in. And we're letting the, the hips 
Sink down and forward as we're lifting the shoulders up. So this is more of a low lunge. To turn this into lizard, we're gonna widen out this right foot all the way to the edge, the right edge of the mat, and bring that block over just your right hand now inside of that right foot. And then the option here is to start to lower down to the blocks or all the way down to the ground with your forearms. And right now I'm hugging my right knee in towards my right shoulder instead of letting that knee wing out, kind of what it wants to do naturally in my body and maybe in yours. So I'm gonna resist that tendency to start. And then if you want, go ahead and let that right knee start to fall open. Take your toes in the same direction. Right? So instead of being here, you're here. Right? Letting the, the knee, the toes, and then if you want, you can even roll onto that outer edge of your right foot. And again, you can stay low onto your forearms. You can come up onto the palms of your hands. And I want you to feel free here to explore a little bit. So maybe that exploring looks like uh, lifting off of your back knee, right? So you can curl the toes under and really strengthen and lengthen that um, back leg. Notice if there's sagging, right? you want to draw, really um, cinch up the belly. Your exploration could also look more like a twist, right? So looking over the right shoulder. And exploration can also look more like a bind. So grabbing a hold, right hand to your left foot. This whole time, whatever movement you're exploring, you're, you're supporting that exploration with a really purposeful breath. And we'll come back where we started into our, our low lunge. So inching that right foot back in a little bit more narrow. We're gonna curl the left toes under, lift up and shift the hips back, come into a hamstring stretch. So I'm still gonna use my blocks here. I have pretty tight hamstrings and, and the blocks just give me more of an ability to find this posture without um, coming out of alignment. So right in our, in our uh, uh, hamstring stretches, in this particular hamstring stretch, we wanna keep the pelvis pretty level here. So that when I inhale and come to a halfway lift, my shoulders are in line with one another from side to side, rather than one being more forward than the other. And we breathe in, and then we fold back forward, draw the belly back towards the spine, soften that back heel down, but it is lifted off the mat, the high hamstring stretch. Start to look forward here, softening that front knee, lifting into standing splits. Go ahead and soften the crown of the head down towards the ground. Again, that cinching in, belly button lifts back towards the spine and up towards the rib cage. We'll come into a curtsy squat, bringing that left knee behind the right and let's drop all the way down to seated for a twist i'm kind of adjusting yourselves as you need to on your mat so you've got the right knee on top of the left and i'm going to start to twist here towards the right reaching kind of snugging that left arm around my right knee To center, breathe, counter twist. Come back 
to center, unwind your legs. Find for a moment Dandasana, staff pose. Feel rooted at the sits bones, hands press down outside of your hips. Feet are flexed. Soften here. And come back to your downward facing dog. Option here if you'd like to take a flow, you have time for that, or you can stay in your downward facing dog for a few extra breaths. forward. And we find first our, our hamstring stretch. I mean, sorry, our low lunge. <laughs> One of those mornings. So dropping that back knee down and finding that heaviness in the hips and, and some lightness in the shoulders. transition to our lizard pose. So widening out that left foot, bringing the left hand inside of the left foot, and dropping in a little more with the shoulders if you'd like, or you can stay. Really, this is, again, your exploration here through this posture. But start by drawing that left knee in towards your left shoulder, and pressing into the big toe mound on that left foot. You're welcome to soften out of that. Let that left knee wing open. Toes point out to the left, same direction as the knee. And then whatever you want your exploration to look like, if that's a lifting off of that back knee, really cinching the lower abdominals. And if it's rotation, 